In this video, I'm going to explain how to develop this beautiful marginal dashboard. With this dashboard, you can see for each of the time series, the grid, the hourly summary, and the daily summary. Consider we have this data set. In this data set, we have dates, time step, quantity randomly. Now, the first thing we need to extract the day from this date. So, we will write a simple function text we will refresh the dates and the format we want ddd and close the bracket hit enter now we just need to double click to apply this formula on all of the values now we need to make time slot series to make time slot we will use let function and with this let function i will define my variable underscore hour and for the value i will use sequence function for the sequence function, I will insert 15 rows since I want to analyze my data from 9 to 12 a.m. So, 15 row, I want one column and the start value from 9 and step is 1. If I close this bracket, hit comma and alt enter, if I just use the variable close the bracket, this will give me the 9 to 23. Now, what we need, we need to convert these value into a time so how we can do it we will define another variable name start time and with this start time we will use the function time and for the time function the hours i already defined so i will define hours the minute in this case i want zero and the second will be also zero close the bracket press comma alt enter for now if i just run this function with a variable st this give me this data. I will format these at the time. Now you can see 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we need the end time. So how we can create the end time? It's very simple. We will define another variable. Let's say et end time and we will use the same function time. We will define the hour and in this case I will use 59 as the minutes and 59 as a second. Close the bracket, press comma and alt enter. Now we will just combine end time start time with the h stack function. Area 1 is start time. This is end time. Close the bracket, close the bracket for late, press enter and this will give me the start and end time. Okay, the next step we need to create a grid. For the grid, I will first write these day here. So let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we need to decrease the width of the columns just to look nice okay and now we will apply the sum if function so how we can write sum ifs function the summary which range you want to sum we want to sum all of this range okay what is the criteria range my criteria range is the first this timestamp criteria so i will just input this timestamp criteria okay and Criteria is our when, whenever we have quotation mark greater than or equal to this value. So when this value is greater than or equal to these value and close the bracket, criteria range 2 will be again the same range. And criteria 2 will be whenever we have less than and equal to this range. Close the bracket and hit enter. Now it's only give me the start and end time for all of the value for start and end time. We want to include these days as well so we will insert a new parameter and with this parameter criteria range will be my day 
and the criteria in this case will be all of these days and I will close the bracket hit enter and it will give me all of the values. Now we will apply simple conditional formatting rule and with this conditional formatting rule I will apply something like this one then I go to manage rule edit rule and for the lowest value I will choose the light red color then I will choose a little darker red color and for the high value I will choose very dark red color okay once I choose this color you can specify or change this color as per your choice and now we can see we get our grid the next thing we need to hide this number so I will again click off all of the numbers right click format cell and in the format cell I will just go to number custom and we will remove the journal and just type three times semicolon once you type semicolon you can see the number has been disappeared but this look not good so we will insert the borders so first we need to create the line color white and then we just need to insert the borders so this look good now of course you can decrease this width of the column whatever you want so that is all about how we can create the grid the next thing we will insert the bar chart and here we will insert the column chart before making that i think it's better to create some good area for the chart so you can just use whatever color you want i will choose this light gray background now we need to apply a simple sum function and with this sum function i will specify the range from monday to sunday hit enter of course you cannot see the value right click format cell and choose the journal format hit ok and drag these value down select all of these value insert insert a bar chart and just insert this bar chart we will delete the title we will delete the grid line the x-axis and now we just need to also remove the shape fill to no fill just outline we don't want the outline as well we will also remove this x-axis and what we need we just need to right click format data cds for the cape width i will use something 21 or even 18 is fine for me the next thing we need to reduce this bit of the chart i will hide this number again with the same color okay next we need to rearrange this chart to fit so you just need to play with them and with a little bit playing you can fit this chart nicely you can just move a little bit more and you can just choose whatever color you like so i will choose this darker background color so this is now looking fine we need to insert one more chart but before that we need to apply the data label okay we will use simple sum function here as well and we will specify all the time slot value of course you cannot see the value here so we will just right click format cell and apply the general format here and drag these value since the value are large number and there is no space so you cannot see but don't worry about this we just need to insert a chart on a recommend chart we will insert this bar chart okay so one thing you can notice you see this chart is on a top we want to rotate this chart so there is no way to rotate the chart so what we need to do we just need to write a negative sign here first and we will drag this formula okay now we need to remove these x-axis grid line title and 
we also need to add a data label. But the data label are negative, so what we need to do, we just need to add another sum function and we need to change the format to journal. Just drag it down and we will just click the chart data label more options value from sales and we will just specify these sales hit ok ok so we get our data label now we just use the same color again we'll also remove the background shape fill so we will no fill for this and shape outline no outline ok I will reduce the area of the chart and also for my data series the gap will to something 18. So you just need to play a little bit with these and we need to increase the chart area. So So I think this look fine, we will just use this lighter color, darker color, sorry. And now this look fine. So this is how you can create this nice dashboard on Excel using simple formula and simple step. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel so that I can make more video for you. Thank you so much.